Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 16, the final episode of my Revel Lockheed PV-1 Ventura build for Models for Heroes. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment and ring my bell. That would be brill. Thank you. To begin this episode, let's get some more panel lining done. So without further ado, let's crank up that speedy uppy thing and crack on. doing here is we're doing half the fuselage first pop that to one side allow it just to dry a bit and then we'll do the two wings and then we come back and do the other side bonus Well, that's those done. We'll let them dry overnight. And as if by magic, overnight has come. And now it's time to take the panel liner off. Is that a decoy spy trying to escape? By golly it is! Better get that popped back into place, hadn't we? Anyway, while I'm doing that, let me explain something. I was a bit worried about how this would come off. I believe it's clay based and very powdery. So removing it, I decided to only go front to back and vice versa whilst taking it off. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty happy with the result. I'll let you know I was really nervous about this one. <laughs> well, it looked okay on the top surface. But underneath it looks bloody awful. I needed something to take more off. I know the reason why it's held so, so badly 
the white was too matte, even after two coats of clear. I think next time I'll be using either acrylic or enamel gloss varnish as it's a lot harder wearing. Anyway, back to removing the panel liner. After tr trying several different things, I settled on using enamel thinners. I know, really harsh, but I used it very, very sparingly, which worked a treat. But I warn you, use it sparingly. Only use a small amount on a cotton bud. If you do it any heavier, heavier, it's done at your own risk. And you'll see why you don't do it heavier in a couple of seconds. Anyway, this is what happens. One wing done, now for the second. why you don't go too heavy. I've gone right through the lighter blue. Luckily I managed to salvage it to look like a big scuff. Phew, you have been warned. Gently. That's done, but we now need to re-glue the Bombay doors as I knocked one of them. This is going to be re a recurring theme throughout the remainder of the build. These and the wheel bay doors. Anyway, let's crack on. And a bit more cleaning up. gluing a top turret barrel back on. Okay, those are back attacks. Now for other bits. So wheels, props, doors, and also reattach the tail wheel. So let's crack on with getting those attached.
looking too bad at all. Happy with that one too, looking good. Oops, wrong door. Quick look around. Did nobody notice? Nope, nobody noticed that. Quick, move along. Well, there we go both wings done with props droppers and doors attached but for how long only time will tell anywho time to get the copy decks off the clear parts Up. Guess who forgot to put copy decks on here? Yep, you guessed it. Me! Anywho, have no fear, I rectify this beautifully, even if I say so myself, which I do. So let's try and sort this window pane out. To begin with I used acrylic thinners to remove the paint but that didn't work. Next I tried enamel thinners which worked a treat but left the pane cloudy which I was expecting. So here's the magic paper, Micromesh. We used to use this stuff on ejection seats in the Air Force. Anyhow it goes from 2400 grit to 1200 grit. Then we finish it off with a final finish polishing compound. This stuff cost me the same as a tube of Tamiya finishing compound for 10 times the amount and does just as well. Right, what I'm going to do is start with a 320 grit paper, then a 600 grit, then a thousand, and then start on the micro mesh and go through those to the polishing compound. So here we go. Psst, keep your fingers crossed.
And there we go. One window pane saved. Good save. Now to check the wing fitment. We'll not be gluing these as the fitment is awesome. And it will also be easier to transport. So here goes. Wrong door. Quickly looked around. Did nobody notice? Nope, nobody noticed that. Quick, move along. There we go, wing fitment is brilliant, really happy with this. So, shall we move on to the reveal photos? Ah, oh, go on then, you silver tongued bar stewards. You've twisted my arm. Here we go, here's the reveal photos. There we go, an absolutely fantastic kit to build. Highly recommended for a Revel, but a bitch to paint. Well, okay, to be honest, I think that was me that there was a problem with painting rather than the kit, but we overcame it. Okay, we gave it a backstory. So, thank you for watching episode 16. Also, thank you for watching this build series, and please look out for this model on the Models for Heroes stand at model shows. Also, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.